I'm just getting used to the area, just taking it all in, hot cup of coffee. This is the second time I've been here. The first time was just discovery and total amazement at the place. We are blessed with, I'd say, some form of formality with the more vertical trees. I just want to enjoy the moment, looking around, scanning the place. Now, you'll see I've got a slightly different setup. I bought myself a strap and also I did a microphone as well. This is purely for video work so I can keep the footage as steady as possible and also take in some ambience as well. So I'm just going to scout the area and see what grabs my attention. I briefly walked in that direction where the more vertical trees are. Nothing really stood out. Turned round, had a look and this stood out. Now, landscape photography, finding good composition is finding contrast, whether that, that be with light, form, shape. This is definitely shape. So I've looked in both directions and I finally found something which I feel works. Again, looking in that direction. Um, some nice curves being used in the composition and there's some nice formal trees as well in the background. I've also included, included the branches of the pine trees. It's all about balance, so there's some on the right hand side, there's some on the left hand side. I've made sure that the bottom of the trunk is, is basically there's, there's clearance, so you can see all around it. I just think it's some nice strong shapes. I've opted for my 85mm prime. I only brought two prime lenses with me today, my 35 and 85 millimeter. I've also experimented with a shallow depth of field, first one being at f2, second one being at f11. I'm just going to get on, see what works the best. So no fog again, not ideal conditions. I'm making excuses, I know. It's a wonderful location, it really is, but it is very difficult to get a decent photograph. It's all about finding the one that stands out. Um, and that is quite hard because the majority of the trees are all similar. 
and my job is to find that one which offers a bit of contrast. Now, there is a pine tree. I think it's a pine tree or a cypress tree. I'm not too up on the trees, to be honest. Uh, quite a young tree as well, and it is standing out amongst the crowd. So I've played around it, moved around at different angles. Um, I've come up with the the best option I can find at this moment and time. Play around with 85 millimeter, and I've opted for the 35 millimeter, and it's just a simple composition. I couldn't avoid bringing the sky in because the best view of it is looking slightly upwards, ideally. If I was looking downwards, I'd be able to take the sky out, but that's not the case. So I've made the most of what I can do. I'm not giving up yet for today. I'm going to scout that way and see if there's anything else that stands out. I'm going to leave you today with something a little bit different. It just stood out to me. So I've played around with it. This is all about using nature's lines. It's basically a pile of broken branches which is all being collected together. And I'm using those as uh, leading lines and a, a natural frame and that nicely balances or contrasts with the trees in the background. It's all about the colours as well. There is a light dusting of snow, but the grass is appearing. And that's, that's given some nice vivid greens. There's also some nice greens on the base of the background trees with the moss. So I just think it, it works. I've had to play around the frame a bit just to ensure there's a nice um, spacing around the pile of branches and obviously ensure there's nothing intrusive around the edges. So yeah, nice little find. I think it works. Let me know what you feel. Do you my stomach then? It's time for breakfast. I'm gonna leave this place for now. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna leave. I better get some uh, bacon egg butties down me. Anyway, take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. Bye-bye for now.